Title, GPON Architecture and Components. Unveiling the Key Elements. Introduction. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the world of GPON architecture and its intricate components. If you're curious about how gigabit passive optical networks work and what makes them tick, you're in for a treat. We'll be unraveling the essential components that come together to form a GPON system. So, without further ado, let's get started. 1. Optical Line Terminal, OLT. Our first stop on this GPON journey is the Optical Line Terminal, or OLT for short. The OLT serves as the nerve center of the GPON network, connecting to multiple optical network units, ONUS, or Customer Premises Equipment, CPE. It's responsible for managing the downstream and upstream data traffic, ensuring efficient communication between the central office and the end users. 2. Optical Network Units, ONUS. Moving on to the ONUS, these are the devices situated at the user's end. They receive and transmit data over the optical fiber network. ONUS play a vital role in converting optical signals to electrical signals that can be utilized by various devices like routers, computers, and phones. 4. Optical Distribution Network, ODN. The Optical Distribution Network, or ODN, is like the intricate highway system of the GPON architecture. It includes the optical fibers, splitters, and other passive components that ensure the smooth flow of data between the ULT and ONUS. The ODN's design greatly influences the network's efficiency and scalability. 5. Wavelength Division Multiplexing, WDM. Now, let's talk about Wavelength Division Multiplexing, or WDM. This innovative technology allows multiple wavelengths of light to travel over a single optical fiber. In the context of GPON, WDM enables separate upstream and downstream channels, optimizing the utilization of the available bandwidth. 6. Bandwidth Allocation Bandwidth allocation is a critical process that ensures fair and efficient distribution of data among the ONUS. The ULT dynamically allocates bandwidth to ONUS based on their needs, allowing for seamless data transmission and preventing congestion. Conclusion And there you have it, the key components of a GPON system. From the central ULT to the end-user ONUS, each piece plays a significant role in creating a high-speed, reliable, and efficient optical network. We hope you've gained a deeper understanding of how GPON architecture works and how its components come together to provide seamless connectivity. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of GPON architecture and components. If you found this video informative, don't forget to hit the like button, share it with your fellow tech enthusiasts, and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the fascinating world of technology.